video, I'll cover a really affordable point and shoot camera that anyone can pick up and get decent results with. The best part is it's fully waterproof. This is the Minolta Weathermatic Dual 35. This is a point and shoot camera that shoots 35 millimeter film. It's not as good as some other waterproof options out there, but it offers a few features that make it worthy of trying out. I purchased this camera five years ago for $40 and initially felt a bit underwhelmed with the results after shooting my first roll of film. photos turned out pretty soft so I ended up setting it aside. At the time my expectations were unrealistic since I was used to shooting with my Nikonos cameras which are much higher quality. But I've decided to give this camera another try. These photos were nothing spectacular. I shot this roll in midday and the light was harsh, but I really enjoyed using this camera since it was so easy. The body is entirely made of plastic, but it doesn't feel cheap. The camera is really comfortable to hold because it has a nice grip. This is a fully automatic camera, which is much more user friendly than the Nikonos. It has autofocus that generally works pretty well above water and underwater it zone focuses from 4 feet to 12 feet and there's a close up focus option. Loading film is super easy and the camera automatically advances each frame after you shoot and when you're done with the roll it auto rewinds back into the canister. There's a built in flash which can be pretty handy especially underwater but there's no way to turn it off so it flashes every time. This camera runs on AAA batteries but some of the models use lithium batteries. The whole pitch with the Weathermatic is the dual lenses. Its primary lens is the 35mm 3.5, but you can switch to a 50mm by pressing the lens select button. I'm not exactly sure how this works, but it is a cool feature to have, and you get frame lines in the viewfinder for both focal lengths. These features are not groundbreaking, but having autofocus and a built-in flash make this camera incredibly user-friendly and enjoyable to use. The whole appeal for point-and-shoot cameras is how easy and fun they are to shoot. You don't have to be a pro to pick up this camera and capture decent results. But don't expect to get amazing sharpness and contrast out of this point and shoot like other more expensive cameras. My only real complaint is the color. It looks like a camera out of SpongeBob's camera collection. Considering its price point around $40, I can't ask for much more in a waterproof camera aside from maybe a different color. If you're interested in water photography, this camera offers a pretty good value for what it can do and it's a lot of fun to shoot with. If you have a little bit more money, I would opt for a Nikonos camera instead and if you want to see some more information on those, you can check out my other videos. Thank you for watching. See you next time.